here as well. I'm over on the 49. Just want to make sure you guys know the family over here at Live Heart Radio, okay? Welcome, everybody. So to speak. Yeah, my ex relationship. Yeah, yeah, okay. So uh, <laughs> you know, I'm sure those are a lot of the ingredients for you know some great music, correct? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So um, now you have your own another channel. I say. Yeah, I've been made my own channel. Um, even when I was doing the couple channel, but I made my own channel because I just wanted uh, I just wanted my supporters to know me as Queen Naja and not Chris and Queen. You know because um. I'm my own person at the end of the day. And I just want to be smart and have something to fall back on just in case something was to happen, and it did. So. Understandable, you have a beautiful name. Can Thank you tell you. us about that? Oh, uh, well, first of all, my mom named me Queen Naja. Well, Queen Naja, my, that's my real name. Like, that's on my birth certificate. Okay. But she named me that because uh, she said she knew I was gonna be a star. So when I turned three, I started singing, and it's kinda like she just spoke it. You know, and that's what happened. Naja, my real Naja was supposed to be spelled N A J A H, but it was spelled N A I J A, so people think it's like a Nigerian name. Mm -hmm. But um, that part came from my dad. My father, his name is Naji, so, okay. and he's like from a um, Middle Eastern country. Okay, so you grew up in Detroit, is that? Yeah, well, uh, no, yeah, basically. Michigan, yeah. Midwest. Yeah. Okay, you don't represent him. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, just live. I want to get you in the conversation. So I know you dealt with your relationship publicly. How do you deal with like the public scrutiny on like, social media? Oh, uh, I just don't deal with it anymore. I used to. I used to try to argue back with everybody mm -hmm. on social media, but I mean, it's not gonna do anything. People still gonna talk. They still gonna say whatever they wanna say about you, whether they doing bad or good. So I just choose to do what I do, keep doing it, and whatever people gotta say, like. It's whatever, like I'm still gonna be successful and at the end of the day it's my life. I know oh, that's right. Y'all yeah. give it up a queen Naja. <laughs> How are you dealing with all this success which is coming by so fast? Like all the success is just hitting you. Um, I just really thank God. Like I really thank God first of all. And then I just really I love all my supporters because without them, like, I wouldn't be here, like, for people to listen to my music and to watch my videos, like that means a lot. Cause, like y'all told me, I'm somebody. Like I'm somebody. Girl, you That's are, baby. Thank you. And uh, the audience wrote some questions down. They all went around. Some to read. Some y'all want to hear some of y'all questions. Yeah. <laughs> what would be one piece of advice would you give someone who is aspiring to become an artist as well? From Christina T. Oh yeah, Christina. Hi, pretty. Um, be yourself. For one, don't don't try to you know. I mean, you can get ideas from other people. It might inspire you, but like, just bring your own craft to the table. Don't you know try to do what everybody else is doing because of a trend. 
because people like uniqueness, people like genuine people, and they like people to be real. That's I guess that's what attracted people to me because I'm just really transparent and real. So, um, and then just really have a passion about what you do. If you don't have a passion for it, and you know, it won't show. Okay, I'm nervous now. She like, huh? Uh, what is your biggest fear about becoming a successful artist from Dejana, Dejana? Um, my biggest fear has always been going way to the top and just being unhappy. Like, cause, cause like you can be successful and stuff like that. You can have money and all that stuff, but you still can be like really, really unhappy if you don't take care of yourself, if you don't keep God first, if you don't take out time for yourself, um, if you try to make everybody else happy besides yourself, like you really got to take the time out for yourself and make sure, you know, you stay happy through everything. And um, that was my biggest fear. Just make, and, then, and then also one of my other ones was like, you know how you get in the music industry or you see other people get into the music industry and then they turn into a totally different person. Like, you don't know who they are anymore. Like, I don't never want that to happen to me. I always want to remain the same queen that y'all knew me from YouTube and, you know, things like that. So, but I'll try my best not to let that change, so. All right, baby girl, come on up here. <laughs> What's your name? Patience. All right, now, Patience, what question do you have for Queen Naja? Oh, I want to know that Aww. You can sing it to me. You can sing it to me. I want you to sing it. Okay, here, girl. If I 
Well, you yeah. went viral. Um, this song is taking off. We salute you. Thank you. Um, so happy for you. What do you anticipate? What are you looking forward to on this journey? Um, I'm just looking forward to making more music that everybody can relate to. I'm looking forward to touching the youth, touching young adults, touching women, and just like, I really love the whole women empowerment thing, like, cause girls, we go through so much, and like, you know, we go through so much, and like, you know, sometimes, we just go through so much with everything, like guys, with guys too, like, they'll break your heart, do all types of stuff, but you're still strong, you can still make it through, you know? Um, you know, and I just want to touch those, that's all. Absolutely. Has anybody that's well-known really surprised you, that they were familiar with your music as you've been traveling? I know you've been all across the country, you've been moving across the country. Um, I remember one day, like, I was in L.A., and um, Tamar and Tony Braxton, like, they was, like, in the next booth, to the next place where we was eating, and then when I got up, they, they knew who I was, and they knew my song, and so they said congrats, so I was like, wow. And then my... It made me feel like, dang, like people really looking at me. And then like, um, my favorite, my favorite person, Cardi B, followed me on Instagram. So I, was, I was happy about that. So I'm pretty sure, you know, if she noticed me, she probably, you know. And then Meek Mill followed me too. So I was really shocked about that. I was like, dang. So people notice me. There you go. There you go. We expect big things. Um, Anybody have any other questions out there? Yes! We're going to take a couple, all right? Come here, come on. Please. Just make sure you grow up to be somebody and, like, just don't be, like, just don't be laying around with no, goal, no goals and stuff like that. Don't let a man control you. Make sure you be independent, you know, make sure you hold your own. And before you try to um, give your all to someone, make sure you give your all to yourself. Does your ex follow you on social media? I really don't know and I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Yes. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. 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 If you want to do YouTube, you just gotta, you just gotta, um, I can't find a word, my mental health right now. You gotta like invite people in with your personality and things like that. You have to have enthusiasm. You can't be like, what's up YouTube? This is, um, like, cause they're not gonna wanna watch you. So make sure you're not boring. Make sure you are consistent. Um, cause once your videos keep getting put out, people will be like, oh, they'll keep seeing you and watch your stuff. Um, Make sure you bring your own uniqueness to the table because people get tired of seeing the same thing over and over again. Uh, and just, uh, if you see like trends, like things that's happening, like if you see a challenge that's going viral, like do it because that's what people is gonna search up at that moment and you want people, and you want yours to pop up. So um, do what's trending too, but that don't mean copy off everybody else, but if it's trending, like be smart and capitalize on it. You know what I mean? Um, Oh, don't be afraid to invest in yourself. Like, um, don't be afraid to like pay for promotion. Whatever you gotta do, like, work for it and things like that. So that's pretty much. Thank you. That's what I did. Okay. If you're on Snapchat right now, we have a Snapchat filter, so make the make sure. You <laughs>
trying to talk <laughs> tell her you single girl oh yeah single all summer 2018 so dms are open if you cute if you not <laughs> no <laughs> what no. do you have to offer be sure to subscribe y'all <laughs> link will be no link ain't be gonna be nowhere be sure to subscribe like share comment i'm gonna go hang with queen y'all talk to y'all later hey.